Yep. Back out. Again. The late night, you see, Friday ain't coming. Oh, I'm not gonna already. As you may be able to hear, it's a little bit breezy. Quite bad forecast, but you kind of, you kind of be, uh, well, I'd never go out if I listened to the forecast. It's house cracks. So I mean, block where last week up in that valley, straight up there. Let's never speak of that camp again. Man, dingoes. Oh, you'd be glad to know, I'm fully recovered. Off my sore lip, everything's dry. My tent, everything's dry. See, that's just a, uh, that's the thing, you know. If you go out and you get wet, you just gotta, it can dry, it'll dry. Just don't wreck it, don't rip it or tear it. Everything dries off, and you can always clean everything. So, yeah, we're heading up into the hills, look at the clouds. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure this is a good idea, like, well, we'll see, see what it's like. This weather looks wild here, horrible. Now, I, ah, uh, we'll carry on. What a carry on. Woo! that way over the back of there it's about uh, one and a half miles to go just while I'm here I'd like to say hello and welcome to all the new subscribers off the back of there Chris's Chris and me's collaboration it's good good collaboration that like that's what it's about I hope I've sent a few subs over to him good community like you're all legends, all the new subs. This is normally what I do. Uh, I don't normally fall in rivers and, well, actually I have been known. <laughs> I don't normally get that tanked like, I used to do whiskey reviews myself, but I had to give them up for obvious reasons. <laughs> it's just not good. So, yeah, I've only got a few beers tonight. Oh, oh dear, just wondering if I should have went up there, but the wind is going that way, so they'll, they'll crags will be exposed, so I wouldn't get sheltered. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping to get a sheltered spot up here, maybe. The wind's coming here, southwesterly wind. It's not going to change direction either, so that should be all right. We'll get set up and be all right. But yeah, mile and a half into this valley. So yeah, all the new subscribers, hope you stick around. I have quite a lot of fun on this on these videos. Go out with different people, mix it up, go in hammocks, bivvies, weird blooming walking pole tents, all sorts. Cheap tents, expensive tents. I like to uh bit of a variety, you know. In the summer I'll be in the walking pole tents more. So yeah, hope you stick around. Push on here. There's the uh, cold law. Come there, I've come all the hard way. It's like just all flat now. It's like this, I've done all the hills. That's Broad Hope Hill. I slept up there before. That was a wild night up there as well. The sun's making it. The temperature's gonna come out. Yeah, so I've done, I've done a mile. So I've got a mile to go through there. the right I don't I have no idea where this hill is like I think it might be it. it looks about a mile away doesn't it but it's um it's good it's not hard it's just this wind <laughs> the wind's taking your breath there's a subscriber who always says I'm always moaning about the weather well, we've got good right to like to be fair it's like oh straight away you're moaning about the weather well yeah <laughs> I am <laughs> getting good weather and I won't moan about it. Simple. But still out though. 
there. The weather might be wild, but I'm still out. Oh, dear. Let's hope I can get um, maybe like a little sheltered spot, you know. Because it's, uh, I mean, the tent's all right. It'll take these gusts. Forecast will be like 65 mile an hour up on the Cheviot. They might die off a bit by the time they get down here, but still be wild. Still gonna get 50 mile an hour. So the tent will take that all right. It's just, can I take it? Because it's not, it's not great like when you're stuck in the tent. You've gotta like, I like to get out and have a wander and do a time lapse, that sort of thing, you know. But look at the nice blue sky, like, a bit of a rainbow. So I, we'll see, right, we'll get there. See if there's like a little place I can duck in because, like I say, the winds are going to change direction, and uh, that'll be that should be okay. So, I'm pretty sure that that the hill I'm looking for, that's actually that flew. no idea. I'm just following, I am following the map, it says go along here, and then it goes that way. I can't see any hills, only that one in the far distance. We'll find out. We will find out. And now, we'll turn the camera off. I'll throw myself in that stream later. Face first. Oh, we walked for miles. Uh, 1.96 miles. I think that's the hill distance there behind the trees settlement here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to the hill and see how bad it is and if it's ridiculous right I'll come back down to this settlement here because I'm sure there's a wall I could hide behind the wall or the house just out the wind you know there's no point getting hammered by the wind when there's alternatives but I do want to um, go up Broadstrother up the top. It's further than I think. I said it was two miles back there. I've already done two miles. I'm nowhere near it. Well, I'm about half a mile from it. I'll go back and uh, change that sign. Two miles. My ass. Aye. Good. Nice, yeah. Like, if it wasn't so windy, it would be mint. It's a good spot, this. Right wild out the way. Never been here before. Nothing, mind. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wilderness. I just can't get out of it. It's ridiculous. Down by. The down by the house, there's no wall. It was just a, uh, an outdoor. Trying to get near these grouse butts. Oh man, <laughs> relentless. Jeez. Oh, oh, this is not great. Like. It's just a bit. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, if this was a bit bigger, I'd get me tent in here. I just think it's too small. Only just mind. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, there's a sheep pen down the bottom. I gotta try and get in there. Oh, it's brutal that wind. I didn't get the broad strip. Well, I did. I crossed it. It's not actually a hill, I don't think. I think it's just an area. Oh, it's nice to get out of the wind. It's brutal. It's going to be 50 mile an hour constant there now. Should have brought me wind gauge. Why do I not bring that? Oh. Woo! Yeah, so down there is one of them circular sheep pens. I might end up in there. I've uh, actually pitched in one of them before. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna head back down because this is uncharted territory now. Like I don't, don't want to walk too far in. Like 
look at it. There's nowhere to pitch here. It's not flat at all. It's just right in the wind. That's on a slope. That's on a right slope. So yeah, I'll head back down to the sheep pen and uh, see if I can get in there. It's tough pitching in the wind and if you can get out of it. If I can't, I'll have to just pitch it. Simple as that. But I'll try and get out of it anyway. Oh, I'm exhausted after that. I've had walked nearly three bloody miles, man. Sanctuary. Hopefully, hopefully there's a, uh, a flat bit inside there. On the other side, or the back of it. Oh, I, can't, uh, oh, I can't pitch anywhere else. Even if I wanted to pitch around here, it's all like, it's all like this. Not great for pitching in in the TV. It's like you've got to know where to go, and sort of I think bivy bags is the best way. It doesn't matter where you put a bivy, does it? I've got to cross this bloody fence now. Oh, this is this is gonna kill us. How am I gonna get over here? Oh, it's a double fence. Double fence. There must be a crossing point somewhere. Like a barbed wire. Barbed wire fence. Quite high, dangerous that like. So I'll get over somehow. Take the bag off, put the bag over, and then jump over. Don't think there's a style. But yeah, that's where I'm headed. Uh, if I can get to it, what a day! <laughs> Great, I love it. It's a proper adventure. This. I'm just making it up as I go along here. Yeah, like wherever there's a road. Gate. Yes. Ooh. Always a gate. That's style. It's alright down here, like if this is sheltered, I'm in a good little spot here. Problem is by river. <laughs> oh tea vicar. Oh, oh well. Let's see what it's like. Get over here. Down here. We'll come back when we're down here, I'll we'll see if it's out of the wind, I don't think it is, we might be like down there. Oh, see if you look to see the grass is still blowing. It's bad. Wind's a bad direction because it's not it's not really sheltered. Uh, it's still here, the land, isn't it? Well pop pickers. Oh, this has proved to be a bit of a lifesaver. Oh, I tell you, man, look. Whew! We still got a bit of wind coming through here, but that's nowt compared to what it's like the other side of this. It's wild. So half the half the battle, right? Ooh, I'd say half the battle is getting out of the wind, not deliberately pitching in it. Trying to find a spot where you're out of it. I'm pretty much out of it there. So, I mean, it's solid enough. That would be all right up the top in that wild weather. That tent would be fine. Stand firm, wouldn't budge, but I would hate it. I think anybody would hate it. All you hear is the wind rattling you. You know, you, you step outside the door and everything blows away. So it's better to get a sheltered spot and it's a nice little place like I'm just hoping all the farmers have gone to, uh, got to the pub for the night for the weekend I'll be where sharp in the morning that's probably a quad track right that's the road so tomorrow I'll just follow that road out and it'll take us back to that house and then just across around the back so it's about two and a half mile back that's all right Ooh, it's got to be out the wind. That was horrific up there. <laughs> it was really wild. It's exhilarating. It's really exhilarating. I love I love going for a hike in um in the wind. But camping man, oh, I much prefer to be out of it. I mean if you've got no choice then you're in the ideal tent. But look at it. Ooh, look at the state of it from last week. <laughs> oh man. And you get I was gonna pitch it in the garden and clean it but it's just rained all week I couldn't get it pitched oh, oh it's lovely in here oh it's nice to be out 
See what I mean about it? the wind rattling on me, I've got the door open. But yeah, I'm out of it. I can cook here, fine. It's hitting the back of the tent. So yeah, we're all good. We're all good. So I'm gonna get all my all my bits and bobs out. There's no promotion in this video, you'll be glad to hear. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but for now I just want to get my stuff out and get something to eat. I'll get a beer as well. It's 20 past 7. This is the joy you see with the um the light nights. This is what I was saying. It doesn't matter what time you come out, as long as it's before dark, you've got until 8 o'clock before it gets dark. So that's good. Good little walk that like, can you? Enjoyed it. Right, get me crap out. This is the fourth time I've used that on the same charge. This is good man, this is a good little pump this. Now they've fixed everything. Okay, it's going up there. Not taking long at all. Problem is this mat's still damp off last week. Everything was soaking last week. And I'll turn her over, I think it's dry on the other side. Good one. Oh, it's in. 20, 21 mile an hour. It was more than that up there, like. And it was a lot more, so I've done the right thing coming down here. Look at the sky, man. <laughs> 20 mile an hour, just here. I did bring it with us, I didn't think I had. But yeah, I was up there, right at the top of there. That was wild. It's more than 20. Let's have a little look around here, eh? There's a river over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Keep away from the river. Oh, another. Nice. It's lovely here, like. May have been a good area. It's a little bit too close to the, the road, the working farm here. It's, I don't know why they've closed it off. Stop a sheep getting in. I don't know. It seems a bit daft, doesn't it? Look where I am though. <laughs> lonely little, lonely boy. And you've got a nice view down there. Ah, it's good. I like it. As long as nobody comes. Oh, look, I could have been down here. Oh, look at this. Man, why didn't I look down here? This is, a, this is flat. Oh, if there's a flat spot here, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to throw myself in the river. If there's, a, oh, if there's a flat bit. It's not much really. Nah. It's a bit bumpy, isn't it? It's a little bit bumpy. Lumpy bumpy. Here we are. I'll have to come here later to get some water for uh, cooking my tea. I brought, I brought that ration pack again. <laughs> Determined to have that. I think I'll get the water from down there. That's a little, a good little sauce. I'll get that before I have a drink. Because you never know, I might fall in. Not that I would ever fall in. I'm not that daft. Oh, on, let's get up here. Ooh. Have a look up here in my tent. I've got some testimony right to this sleeping bag. Last week it was absolutely soaking and uh, it kept us warm. It kept us warm all night, that through the night and this jacket. This jacket was drenched, absolutely dripping wet and I was warm, I slept warm. So that's a good advert for the jacket and the bag. And when I got home I just put it in the dryer and it came back to life, it was brand new, it lofted up really well. Good little bag that, you know, 75 quid or something. Good little, uh, good little summer down bag. But yeah, I'm going to have a beer now and listen to the radio. I've got the radio on, no phone signal like, but I'm not bothered about that. Um, I've only got a few beers. Bruce Forsyth, Transient, 
heathen tram and a little stumpy hazy Jane. I'll start with that one. I've got me my gas and my fire maple. Uh, we've got a video nasty <laughs> German salami. It's more that cheese. That's lovely. That's on offer in Morrison's at the minute. So I've got some more. Yeah. Oh, my hat's come off. And then I've got my ration packs. Pork, sausage and beans. I might keep that for tomorrow. I might have the burrito tonight. Because that's got rice in as well. So I'm pretty hungry, like. What else? That's it, really. So, yeah. I'm going to crack a can and just sit and chill out and watch the sun go down. Living it up. Living it up. Well, put me um, my tea on the the, uh, the beef burrito. Look, the wind is blowing on that. This is mint. This like that wind's not blowing that out at all. That's very good. It's coming in the tent. The wind's coming in the tent. But it's not putting it out. MSR wind burner. Eat your heart out. It's a winner that. Like. Wait. Anyway, I'm gonna get this. Boil this water. Fill that like it's only boiling water and putting a blooming ration pack in it. I'll tell you what, while we're waiting for the um, the food to warm through, I've just got it on a simmer now. I'm going to review, I'll do a beer review, Wardle's beer review of the uh, old Juice Forsyth from Brew York Brewery. You might see on my videos. I have this quite a bit. It's lovely. Uh, but I've never actually sort of described what it's like, so I've opened it and we'll, we'll do that. Uh, it's very, very fruity, tropical. Uh, you're getting sort of like apricots, apricot at the, the, the beak. On the first drink, I'm getting pencils. You know, you know pencils when you when you smell a pencil. It's a bit like that. But then it changes, and it goes to like peach, apricot, peach sort of affair. The aftertaste is um, uh, the aftertaste is cheese, really. Because I've been eating cheese. The aftertaste is a light peach apricot flavour. It's not unpleasant. I'll tell you what it is, it's a lovely summer drink. Uh, on a nice hot summer's day, I did this once. I was sat in the tent, it was red hot outside. And I had the, the juice foresight that had been right in the bottom of my bag. So it stayed cold. Oh man, it was the most beautiful thing ever. Let's see what this is doing. It's, it's not over. It's not over boiling. See, that's a good thing about this. You can put the lid on. That will stop the lid popping off. Got me big spoon ready. Big spoon. All right, but I juice forth. I say it's only five percent. And look, there's poor old Brucey. Ah, oh, he was good, wasn't he? Yeah. You gotta love Brucey. Everybody loves Brucey. If you didn't love Brucey, you have no heart. Everybody loved Brucey. Good game, good game. He had about 2,000 catchphrases, didn't he? Right. Well, this is looking a bit mad, so I'm going to look after this. I'll come back when it's ready. What the hell? Oh, settings. Right, so there we go. It's done. Um, oh, I've got to open it. How do we get in? <laughs> Should have planned this. Ugh, come on! Right, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. 
All right, here we go. What is it? Beef, beef burrito style filling with rice. It's basically right. It's just chili con carne. Mmm. But. Very nice. Very nice chili con carne. It's really, must be spicy as well. Oh. Ooh. Right, well, I'm gonna have this. Carry on with Bruce. Oh, it's hot. And uh, ready back on. We'll come back later. We'll come back later. Are we on? Are we on? A bit of curtain? Are we on? Ooh, yes, I think we're on. Anyway, good evening. Yes. Hi. Uh, I'll have me tea. Um, I put some cheese in that. Uh, chili, that beef burrito. I put a little bit of cheese in. Oh man, it was lovely. It made it. It made it. Um, yeah, I've had my tea. Uh, I'm on my second beer only. I'll probably take one of these cans home. It's half eight. I'm not in a massive drinking mood, which is weird. So uh, I was going to address um, the channel, right, and how the channel's going. First of all, amazing. I've reached the 10,000 subscribers mark, which blew me away because. I thought by December this year, if I had 10,000 subs, I'd be out of the moon. But it's just, <laughs> it's gone over. So, cheers to Chris from Blot Outdoors for, um, well, basically making people aware of the channel. Uh, cheers to all the people who subscribed. I said this earlier, but I've said it now when you can hear what I'm saying. Um, oh, it, it's amazing. It, it's great, like, it's really good. So, hopefully, most of you will stay subscribed because, you know, I'm, I'm out every weekend if I can. Uh, I mix it up, you know, I do bivy cams, hammocks, all oh, that. I've said that before. But mostly wild coming and just the most maddest places if I can. I normally don't plan where I'm going to pitch. I just sort of go there. I go to the area, like, um, the area today was Broadstruther. And Adam and I, I looked on the map and I was on Broadstruther, right on the crossroads where it said Broadstruther was. It wasn't a hill. It's not a hill. I think it's an area. There's no hill called Broadstruther over here. Unless I'm wrong. I stand to be corrected, but <laughs> I, could, I couldn't get my head around it. So anyway, that's beside the point. So on this channel, what I'm going to, um, what I'm planning on doing. Oh, there is another channel as well. I have which is dedicated to um, me little adventures out because I've got a little camper van as well a little micro camper um, it's called Andy's camper van dash FJ19 that FJ19 that used to be the registration of the van but I changed it um, so yeah I mean if you're interested in little micro camper adventures or like you can have a look see how I built it I built it myself it's a little Fiat um, and what I do on there is I go around and visit little villages now Just started off where I was just in the van, you know, mucking about but now I'm going into little villages and towns like seaside coastal towns uh, I went to Annick for example uh, Went to Jedburgh And I'm just having to wander around, you know, just looking at the, the interesting parts Went to Keswick Did the North Coast 500 in December Which I had to bail out of because it took ill um, so yeah the camper van channel so have a look at that if you're interested in that you might be I'm out tomorrow hopefully uh, I'm gonna do a tour of Ford and Etal I don't think there's much at Ford but Etal is a castle you know ruined castle I'm just keeping an eye on this to see if I'm sure I'm seeing things or I'm not like there's definitely nobody there but you know when you're skitsy Alright, so for this channel, upcoming, right, upcoming is a, um, another power bank review of an absolute weapon of a thing with a solar panel which will match the solar panels of Goon Hilly power station. Unbelievable, but I, I do that, I do the, um, the review of the power bank simply because <clears throat> it's amazing for the van really good for the van so it's, it's more based in the van but I do have to put the review on this channel so you know otherwise they won't give us it because this is my main channel 
so bear with the reviews right i've got i only do them because i, I would love that that's brilliant in the van that that powers my van i don't have to get it wired up or anything um what else there's a new bivy tent out by one wind so i'm going to try that out it's brand new it's not even on the market yet they've, they've sent it to me to try out i don't know who else has got one but i i couldn't work out how it worked at first but i know how it do it now it's, it's a trek and pole bivy tent it's tiny packs away to nothing but it's as big it's as big as this inside it's mad so i'll do a review of that and i'll use it as well out in the field what else might get another electric bike maybe but again that is something that it's a fold up one you know um as well there's actually two because one of them's a fold up one which would be great for the van just put it fold it up put the van off i go the other one isn't it's a um, commuting bike i'm not sure if i'll get that or not let's see find out what else what else is there uh, I only take stuff, you know, that <coughs> that I will find useful, and I do reviews of stuff, and I use it to destruction, like this bag. I nearly destroyed this last week, but it's come back brand new. I'm really impressed how that came back. This jacket, this through dark jacket, expensive, but my God, it kept us warm last week. You know, when I fell in the water, I was warm in it. If you have a look at us in Chris's video. I'm sitting in his tent, in this court, and I slept in it, I got seven hours sleep, and I was warm in this court, and I'm going to put it in the dryer, this is good as new, it wasn't like, it wasn't clumped up, there was no threads hanging out, there was no, nothing broken, it was unreal, it's unreal this court, like, I got it on tonight, I'm sitting here red hot, love it, I really love it, but I, so uh, regulars of the channel and know all this, but it's just for the new, the new people, just so they know what to expect, you know, I mean, if you want to stay for the journey, brilliant. But I'll understand if you don't. I sometimes go out with my mates. Um, there's a massive back catalogue, there's 500 videos or something. So, uh, so that's it. There might be a giveaway as well, I might, I might be giving away some stuff. Or something, something else, I'm sure. It'll come back to us anyway. So yeah, that was it. Just a brief rundown. And now I am going to just chill out here. See, I'm still on the Bruce Forsyth. And it's getting dark. That's not gonna last a long time. I'm not in a drinking mood. Mm. Anyway. Mm. See you. See you later. Alright, well, I'm back. I'm back, like. I've been uh, cleaning this. God, it was filthy. It was covered in um, it was covered in mud. It must have been off last week, you know. When I was putting it away, it must have just rolled in the mud. Oh, I'm still I'm still picking up after last week. <laughs> Don't drink, kids. Don't drink beer. Anyway, saying that, I'm going to review this one. This is Heathen, right? Let's just turn it around. Northern Monk Heathen. See, they've done the new artwork on the can. Looks nice. Heathen. So, we'll do a little review of this. I've had this one before, like, but it is, uh, what was it? 7.2%. Ooh. IPA. I like my IPAs, like, I'm not a big stout fan. But here we go. On the nose. Oh, on the nose, I'm getting turnip. Or is it Swede? I'm getting definite turnip vibes. Oh, it's part of my face. Pour it too much. Um, like rotten turnip. You know when you get when you're in the turnip peelings in the bin, and then you open the bin later on. It's a bit like that. We we'll get the we'll get the taste. Never mind the smell. Get the taste. Ah. bad oh, that's nice that's not bad what I'm getting there is um, a bit of uh, actual hint of turnip you know when you when you boil it when you overcook it and uh, you mash it and it just mashes dead easy and then you put a bit of butter on it 
some black pepper, cracked black pepper and a pinch of salt. In your turnip, it's a bit like that. It's like that, which is quite nice actually. Oh, I'm also getting a hint, just a hint of skeleton jizz, which is bizarre. Um, dead mammal and Ginster's steak pie. I don't know, that's just what I'm getting. That's just what I'm getting. It might be totally different for you, but yeah, getting all them flavors there. So I'll give that a, um, I'll give that a solid zero out of 10. Yeah, that's it. So I've discovered something else tonight as well. This radio, right, August Dab Radio, right? I did a review of this years ago, I got this for free. Well, last year, and uh, it's it's brilliant, right? It's, you can search for all the stations. You, you search, and then when you find the station you want, you just let go of it, and it'll save the station. It hasn't got like the presets, but it doesn't matter because you just tune up and down, volume up and down. It works in loads of mad places. There's no signal here in a valley in the middle of nowhere, and it's on. It works. It works brilliant. Completely guessed. DJ Spoony. Uh, from Spoonie! Gone, Newcastle from North Wales. Newcastle! Ian, Spoonie, right? Anyway, look, I've discovered this tonight. It's got a torch. <laughs> it's got a torch. This is the first time I've seen this. It's How mint is that? So it's not just a radio, it's a flashlight. And it's got a wind up handle on the back. It's got a wind-up handle. I'm getting wind-up buried. And a solar panel. Wow! Wow! August DAB radio. I'm not promoting this. I've had this for ages. I've had it over a year. But look, it still comes out, isn't it? It's a handy little size. Mint. Didn't know it had a torch. <laughs> uh, oh. Right, I'm going to turn off now. Uh, oh. God, all I can taste is skeleton jizz. Jesus. Yeah, oh, this wind, it started, I think it's uh, started hitting the tent. It's not too bad, right? I would hate to be high up. No, <laughs> I would hate to be high up. Hit. Hit. You know, it makes sense. Uh, we could do another, another beer review. One more beer review and then I'm going to bed like it's getting on. What do you think me? uh my new specs? I'll tell you what it is. What do you call it? Uh, French Connection. FC UK. French Connection Specs. Look like a big flipping. Like a right nut, I don't know. Right, I'll take them off. Anyway, right, here we go. Um, the beer review, the last one. I did actually finish them all. Well, I will finish them all. This is, hold on, turn around, the transient. Transient Hazy Dry Double Hopped <laughs> IPA, 7%. No wonder I'm talking rubbish. No wonder I fall in rivers. A blazing hazy IPA that will take your taste buds on the ultimate trip. You know what I mean? Ripe and juicy. Ripe. Be the judge of that. Here we go then. <sighs> oh. It's that it's that hoppy flavour, you know when you um you know when you wash your dishes and you've got that smell coming out the sink when you should hoy domestics down. Ooh, big gust. It's a bit like that. So it smells like rotten rotten food at the bottom of your sink in your waste disposal area. So, never mind the smell. It, it always smells worse than it tastes, right? That's that's the, the key with these. 
a nice big gizzard full. Oh no, it is, oh, it is like, um, it is when you've washed the dishes, right? And you know you've got the vegetable pan when you've drained, you've drained the vegetables out of the pan and you're left with the, um, the water. That's what that tastes like, vegetable water. I was actually getting the hint of Dr. Martin boot. But just the heel, which is weird. Only the heel of the boot, not the rest of it. So, a bit of, a bit of um, drained off vegetable water and Dr. Martin boot. Heel only. Something else. There's something else at the back of my mind. There, I kind of think what it is. I think it's sea lion. I think it's actually sea lion skin. Hold on a minute. That, that is definitely right. Sea worthy. It is. Oh, it is. It's sea lion skin. Oh, it's salty. It's salty like the sea. It could be stingray flesh, but I'm pretty sure it's sea lion skin. But anyway, that's me. Uh, that's my review of the transient. So I'll give that minus three out of ten. And uh, well, that's it really. Who's it by? Northern monk. Northern monk are usually good. Northern monk usually don't do sea mammals, you know. They, they normally stay away from the sea mammals, but with that one, I think they've dropped themselves right in it. Greenpeace will have something to say about that rubbish. Uh, more tea, Vicar, right? Right, I'm gonna have that. Listen to Spoonie. Let me posh glasses away. Err. Very posh. And uh, going to bed. So we'll see you in the morning, right? There'll be no more filming now because I don't want to get too silly, you know. I want to keep I want to keep these videos semi-serious. I want to keep a bit of a semi on. So there'll be no more madness. Um, so we'll come back in the morning and we'll have a, a cup of coffee. And we'll pack up dead early and then we'll get away before the farmers come and chases which they will where am I looking I, you know when you've got a camera and you've got a screen there I'm looking at the screen you should be looking at the lens man look at the lens look at the lens look at the lens oh. right no wonder I need glasses like god is a picture of my feet seal skin socks Brilliant in them box. So I should have had these on last last week. Good morning. Sunshine. Oh, I slept alright. Went to bed about half ten. It's crashed out really. do is have a coffee, a nice coffee, and then I'm going to head off, I go onto that road, cross that bridge when I come to it, up this road here, and I think it takes you past that house, so if I temp, when I get to the house, I'll be able to look on the map, and then follow the path, just to retrace my steps really, uh, that's the theory. Skylarks. Yep. Definitely spring. Has sprung. Right, so we'll come back when we're there. We'll come back when we've packed away. That, that <coughs> was where I was pitched. 
all just left with a little bit of flattened grass. Wasn't a bad spot actually, quite level. Um, so yeah, like I said before, we're gonna head off that way. Uh, leave this behind. This was oh, this is a lifesaver. This it's very neat, isn't it? Look how who built this? Like the Romans. Look how tidy it is. Level. I like that. That pleases me. Yeah, so the weather looks like it's changing again. A little bit of light rain. So we're gonna head off. Let's say trot to that place. Ta-da to you. Oi, hold on it, pack's nice and light. That's it. So I don't suppose much is gonna happen between now and the car. So we'll say farewell for now. Ta-da to you, ew. And don't forget to check out Andy's camper van. And uh, see what you think of that. If that's your sort of thing, like, you don't have to. See, luckily, the thought about this there's a river there for the quads to go through, no bother, nice, good fun. There's a little bridge here for us pedestrians. That's all well thought out, like, isn't it? Oh no, <laughs> me, river, bad. And just a little hop, and we're off on the bridge of doom. Leave it here, eh? 